Rebecca with r and Arts and Crafts. I'm finally back. I had a lot going on, so I'm finally able to come back and start making videos. So the first one I made is opening of my Cricut Maker 3. So because I haven't made videos in so long, y'all have to forgive me, I didn't record the video. Uh, in the right um, direction <laughs> so I made it work you can see it you can um, everything's understandable but um, I had this machine like I've been so busy I had this machine for at least a week before I was finally able to open it and uh, and to use it so in this video you're gonna see me open the box, everything that comes in, and how to set it up, and how to actually cut the um, how to cut the well, the first cutting that they do, um, that they they give you everything to do in it. And then the next video I do will actually be how to cut the rhinestone templates with it, because that's the whole reason I got this machine. Because I love doing rhinestones and I do rhinestones everything now that I can possibly get my hands on but yeah so I hope you enjoy this video if you like this kind of content please uh, subscribe and follow us on uh, we're everywhere on all the social media it's R and R arts and crafts and I hope you enjoy it to do open our box uh, the Cricut Maker 3 the newest one I just had to get it because I had a Cricut Air 3 no I had a Cricut Air 2 and let me tell you my Cricut Air 2 did not like cutting templates for rhinestones like I guess it's not made to do thousands of circles because uh, that poor little thing a uh, little uh, spring broke in the little housing that hold, holds the um, the blade it goes up and down and up and down and turns well some spring broke in there and it just stayed down so yeah it wasn't but before I did that I wanted to show you all the results on my last uh, live video I did this I put the rhinestones on this words that said mom and I scrubbed it I, I think I did an Instagram reel where I scrubbed it and, and these babies are staying they are going nowhere so yeah it came, came out great just wanted to share that with y'all and the shoes remember I glued uh, the rhinestones to the shoes so these were like rhinestones that I got on clearance at Michaels or something and this one did fine they didn't come off on the ends it didn't come off I think this was the second one I did and I've been wearing them for a week so they look this one came out great like it's doing great but this one, on the other hand, for one, I have to glue again right here. It's like coming off right here. Uh, apparently, I had to put enough glue there. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, no. And then on this one, some of the stones are coming off. So, I did not glue these stones. This stuff, it's like a two-way tape or something. Like it's sticky on both sides and they put the rhinestones on one side. But apparently that's why they're on clearance because as I've been wearing them, some stones have been coming off. So just so you know, that's a chance you take. Uh, my next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to do it on these shoes too. These are my trial shoes. Uh, I'm going to hand glue rhinestones on it and make it look better, just so y'all know. I cut a template on that Cricut Air 2. Let me tell you, it was, it didn't cut through, so I had to hand, like, 
for each and every one of them. That's when I said, okay, that's it. Thousands of little holes. I don't have time for this. I need the machine that's made to cut that. So, here we go with the Cricut Maker 3. This is pretty cool. I've watched lots of videos about this. Let's see if I can get it out. Okay. This sucker's heavy. All right, well, here it is, here she is. Oh, it's got one little piece of tape right here. So you'll see what to expect. Um, this thing cuts so many different things. But my main goal for this baby is to um, cut rhinestone templates, among other things. I do have grandkids, so I always have to make stuff for them. But here we go. Of course, I do my stickers and my labels and stuff. So, see what this baby looks like. Oh. Got this little envelope here. Oh, I think this is probably like your startup information. And it's an empty thingy. It has these two thingies. Alright. Oh, the machine's covered in plastic. What do we have here? It's kind of ugly. It's kind of not. So look, I've got some bent papers in here. It's all right. Just set it under the box so it can straighten out. Let's see what I've got here. All right. These are the smart, smart papers. So. This smart body, that's what it's called. It says removes without residue. Great for windows, walls, and more. That's the smart vinyl. Then we have the transfer tape. Everybody knows what cricket transfer tape looks like. It says used to keep vinyl cuts aligned during transfer. And then what is this? This looks cool. It says smart iron on, lightweight and long lasting. When cutting, insert this side down. Oh, that side is a glossy side, so I'm guessing that's the transfer sheet. And this is the back of it. So it is black, but the back of it looks good. So it's iron on vinyl, smart vinyl. And this is smart paper, sticker, cardstock. Just cut, peel, and stick. Break your cards, paper, crafts, and more. Wow, that's what this is. Wow, it's thick, man. I thought it was two pieces. It's some sticky cardstock. Oh, wow. Smart paper, sticky cardstock. Nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, next. Here she is. Ta da! And then I don't know if you have to see, but all the cords are in the bottom. Nicely set in there. We have the power cord. Let's throw that over there. Oh my god, get my computer's just right there. Oh, I've got it backwards. Let me show you. Let me show you. That's the back, that's the front. There was no color options on this booger, so. So, we are going to open it. We have this, actually it looks almost the same blue as my, uh, the same blue as my Cricut Air too. It's like a light baby blue kind of. This almost looks gray though. 
This looks more gray than blue. Oh, okay, here you open this top here, and the bottom opens, and you take this little spongy thingy out here. There we go. Like that. They both fell when I did that. What that's supposed to happen? Does it come with the blade? Let's see. Surely it comes with the blade. Oh, it's not easy to open like the other one. The blade just pops out. Is there a blade in it? Yes, there's a blade. It comes with a blade. Nice. So you set it back. Pulls a little housing. Takes two hands. Because then you gotta press that down. Nice. And I know that side holds a tool. We got a power button here. This is to the feed in and out this is the cut or they have it like a play and then of course you can pause and this is this right here so you can put your phone or your ipad or whatever to sit in there's a little tray right here and it should sit in there nicely i just like it's just like the old one it has a circle port in the back and you just plug it in there Alright, this little bit of table. Set this there. Okay, that's our direction. Alright. Here we've got a laptop. It's already on. Let's go. Oh, there's a little dot, y'all. I got those things everywhere. Oh, I done lost it. I'll find it later. All right, so let's open our Cricut. I'm gonna wait for that to open. I do the blade there. Okay. Let's get started. It has a piece of uh, smart vinyl. It says, use the string setup to make a sticker. Okay. And there we have all our warranty information and safety instructions. And we're not going to want to trash that. These things, and there is our computers open. All right, so let's see what does it say. Let's get started. Let's put this up. Okay, okay. activate your machine, cricket.com setup. Okay, let's go over here. It says set up. New product set up. We got a smart cutting machine. The Cricut Maker 3. Yes, apparently there's not nothing behind it. Okay. And yes, I already plugged it in. And plugged it into the wall. Now let's turn it on. You're nice. And next, uh, we have Wi Fi. What can I say, Bluetooth? No device found. Why not? Is my Bluetooth on? Apparently, I had to connect my Bluetooth first. I removed the old Cricut because I gave it to my daughter and then I added the new one. I 
for that, I just went to the bottom to my toolbar and opened it up and then it had the Bluetooth in it. Let's see, let's close it so I can show you. I did to add my Bluetooth if you have the same issue I did. I just opened here on the bottom and my Bluetooth is down there. So I tapped on my Bluetooth and I tapped on see, uh, show Bluetooth devices. And this is, uh, you know, Windows 10. And so, and then it didn't show. So I pressed add a Bluetooth device and then I pressed Bluetooth and then it found my Cricut Maker 3. So, and then I clicked on it. But I have it here now. So there's the Cricut Maker 3. It's now added. So now it found it here. Now I can say continue to set up on Bluetooth. We have to agree and activate. Machine registration successful. Congratulations. It's rebooting the machine. So I know you can't see my machine right now, but it's the light has turned red. It says rebooting machine, stay connected and powered on during update. Okay, it says setup complete. It says next. Okay, we're gonna test the machine. So that's how we're gonna use this paper to make that. It says confirm the fine point blade is loaded. We did that in, in client B, we did that. I looked at it. Right. It says use both hands to insert the smart vinyl sheet that came with your machine in the large white envelope. Push under guides until rollers grip materials. Okay. So y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna turn this that way. And this is a guide right here. And here, there's a guide on each side. And two, two good little flaps on the front. So we push those in until it hits the rubber things and we can feel it. So it says until it hits the roller grips. Next it says push the feed. Hmm. All right, that worked. Nice. This is crazy. With this smart stuff, you don't have to have a mat. The smart vinyl. I will tell you, while uh, it was downloading, I went and grabbed a few things. I went and grabbed scissors, a brayer, a, a weeding tool, and just some little forceps. So that if I need that when I when it's time, I'll do this. Okay, it says press cut. This is a cut or play. Oh. Wow, y'all, we didn't even need a mat. I think that's crazy to me. This is so cool. It's supposed to be fast, too. It's supposed to be like really fast. Oh, Lord. It's shaking my whole table. Very fast. Cool, cool. Now it's done. That, I mean, that was quick. Alright, so now we're going to peel the vinyl. Okay, I don't waste, so I'm not going to. I'm going to cut around it. Can you see what I cut? I cut as close as possible because I do not want to waste this. 
So the only thing I'm noticing so far is that the paper has to be as wide as the machine in order for it to go in there so far. And we'll find out if that's true, but I think surely it has to be the case. And unless you're cutting everything one color, you probably have to You probably have to um, use a mat if you're using doing more than one color. You know how we put all the colors and all the little pieces of vinyl on a mat and then put the mat in and there's like a mat we set up. Alright, so I'm going to do this. This is going to be cool. There's our little thingy, little sticker, and we're going to set it right there. Let's see if I can do it and get it straight. It is very straight. So, well, it probably looks crooked to y'all, but... and it's done so next I want to test this at what I bought it for all right so that was it thanks for watching uh, please remember to subscribe if you like this video comment tell me what you think what did you buy your cricket for and is it doing everything you wanted it to do i started with the cricut air 2 as i explained in the video and now i've outgrown that with doing the rhinestone templates so yeah let me know what you're doing with your cricket um maybe i can learn something that i didn't know my cricket could do but yeah it was so nice to hang out with you um again just subscribe follow us on all your social media that you like to participate in and we'll see you next time